You ready? Let's do it. And welcome to another edition of Blow Your Mind Learning with Wild Dilly. And welcome to another edition of Blow Your Mind with Lyle Dilly. I'd like to welcome you here. A lot of you are wondering, uh, asking a lot of questions this week, uh, about how to insert video into Adobe Animate. Because the way to do it is completely different than you do it in Adobe Flash CS6. Uh, it is, and to be perfectly honest with you, um, it actually allows you to skip a lot of steps uh, and feels a billion times easier. So let me quickly show you how to do it and uh, how you could incorporate it into your uh, Adobe Flash. All right. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the main board here, all right, is I'm just going to create a new file, all right, must be Adobe Action Script 3, very important. I'm going to go ahead and do 1280 by 720, my little HD, because I like it in HD, 24 frames per second, all that fancy stuff, okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and control zero, center it, zoom out just a little bit so we can see it and we're gonna insert a video. Now, what's gonna kill you guys is this is way easier than you might think. Like, like it's like one button. You know, there's, it can get a little bit more complicated than that, but really is just one button. You ready? It's file, import, import video. Kinda all it is, but uh, I'm gonna show you a few things that you need to know, so still pay attention in order to uh, make sure that you insert it right and it does what you want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and import video. I'm going to load an external video with video playback components. Okay. Um, there is embed FL, FLV, which is a little bit more advanced, and embed H264 and timeline. Uh, this is more for testing, and the videos can't even be exported, so I rarely use this. We're going to use a load of um, external video with playback component. Okay. So let me go ahead and insert uh, one of the videos I did today. Uh, all I did was browse, did it. Um, you can convert it to maybe make it a little smaller, do media conversions. But uh, for this exercise, I'm not really stressed about that, okay? Because uh, um, uh, we'll, uh, it might uh, help for file size later, but right now we're just going to insert it. Next. Now, skins. Skins are really cool. Skins will allow you to add all these really cool things to your video that you're inserting. Okay, Skins, different um, things, and all the buttons become workable with the video that you insert. All right, Which is part of one of those things that you need to do. For this exercise, though, I'm going to say none. Okay, Because we're going to do a couple really cool things uh, that will allow you to add this to Flash and be able to uh, start it and stop it how you want to on your timeline. Okay, using just this import video function. So I'm going to go ahead and go next. And uh, it's going to make sure that I'm cool with it. It's linking to the video. That's the most important thing. So whenever you're moving this and do this, you actually have to in include the, the, the video that you made in order for this to work. Okay, very important. I'm going to go ahead and finish. It's getting all the data. Uh, since I made it 1024 by 720, 1280 by 720, you can see that it perfectly fits on the stage. All right. If I click on this, it's now inserted in the timeline. Okay. You can see that the width of it is 1280 by 720. I can make it smaller if I want. Uh, if I have this locked, I can actually make it a 480 video and actually have it smaller. We're going to have it smaller for now just for fun. Uh, and we're going to see how this goes, all right? If you click on here, you're going to see tons of uh, different functions. Auto play, cue points, cue points are for FLVs. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that in another video. But we have uh, different aligns that you want, um, viewpoints, previews, all sorts of stuff depending on the thing, right? And even volume uh, for the video that you want. Now. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to press, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and do a preview. You can see, hey, background's it's not me, working though, is just it? talking, experimenting, having a good time, okay? Uh, it's stopped, 
it, there's no reverse function there's no playback function it's going to play till it stops and then it's going to go that's all it's going to do okay uh, which is kind of a cool function. You can add different animations. This is a timeline, okay, uh, to that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this and actually make it um, uh, start and stop and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to 82 frames, press F5, so it goes to all 82 frames. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to press S6 just like in a audio file to stop it I'm also going to use the same techniques to stop this video so if I go to properties what I'm going to tell it is not to autoplay anymore all right so it's going to go from here all the way to 80 and then stop on frame 82 all right so it's going to go it's going to play all the way to frame 81 and then stop on frame 82 okay so let's see if it does it does it and stops resets just like a flash is supposed to do plays to a certain point stops resets plays to a certain point stops resets and repeat as nauseam okay so you can see that by doing this uh, you're going to be actually creating all sorts of stuff with that um, you can now include different things so if I wanted to now make this take a stroke off let's see I don't want to stroke on this boom just make a cute little circle on here then right click it and create a motion tween with it it's gonna auto make it into a symbol now it's a symbol I'll start here I'm gonna go above here then I'm gonna go around to here and I'm gonna go over here basically encircling my video right and we'll go back to the beginning okay let's see how that works you ready hey. yay so now we've got this really cool hey. video start to finish plays starts hey. stops uh, it's a little quirky it's not 100 percent but uh, uh, you can actually do some better encoding with that okay so I'm gonna do a little bit video uh, in the future to actually do the encoding but for right now you can totally insert a, uh, a uh, video into your um, into your flash into your animation basically uh, and be able to play with it just like it's a part of the animation that you made all right pretty exciting stuff i like to thank you for joining me with Blow Your Mind with Lyle Dilly. And I uh, hope you had a good time. And uh, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if there's any other particular videos that you would like, go ahead and comment below. All right? Tell me what you would like to see in Blow Your Mind with Lyle Dilly. Thank you.